guys, this is Mac Kids and One. This is just going to be a video on how to um easily um make an Ubuntu boot image. First of all, you want to go to Safari or Firefox or any other browser you use. Um and go to Ubuntu.com. And let me just show you how to download this disk image. Okay, so go to Ubuntu.com. Then click Learn More under Desktop Edition. Scroll down to the word Download and click that. And Ubuntu will start downloading. Once you click Begin Download, of course. Once it's done downloading, it will download into a file with this title. Um, so um, basically what you want to do is is first of all to write this on a on a CD you need a blank CD so insert a blank CD okay and when it comes up I'll show you what to do when this window opens up you want to change action to be open disk utility now if this window doesn't come up you can just open up disk utility and click your DVD drive this is my DVD drive right here Ma Machita. Okay, so um, you it, it'll have the DVD or CD icon right there. I'm not sure if that's DVD or CD. Then once once this drive is selected, select that drive. Go up to Images, then select Burn or press Command V or B. Then find the disk image that you downloaded. The dot ISO. Um, from Ubuntu's website, select that and click burn. Then click burn. Now this is going to take a while, um, so I'll do a cut here as it loads. Okay, so once your CD just pops out of there, um, you all you need to do now 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 your CD um, is bootable for Ubuntu. So I'm just going to quit this, and I am going to get my other webcam, or my camera, and do a demonstration of how to boot off this Ubuntu CD without erasing all your files. Okay, guys. So I'm sorry about the not the best quality of this um, portion of the video, but um, I have my CD right here, and I am going to um, boot off of this CD. First, you want to insert the CD as far as it goes, not all the way, though. It won't want to take it all the way. Then press the power button. It'll get sucked in. Now, right now, you hold the Alt key or the Option key. Okay, and keep on holding it for a few seconds. Okay, I'm holding Option. And you'll hear your, your CD drive spinning a lot. Now, um, after a few seconds, you'll get the mouse and these three hard drives. Now, in your case, it'll be two hard drives, Macintosh HD and the CD-looking thing that says Windows on it. Don't worry, it's not really Windows. It's it's not Windows. Okay, so, what you want to do is um, click on the CD that says Windows and hit Enter. Or Return, whatever it says on your keyboard. And it'll take a few seconds, but then the screen will come up. Okay. And so this will come up, and then it'll ask you what language you want to do, and just hit enter if it's already on English, if you speak English. Okay, so now you can use the arrow keys to maneuver around, but the option you want is try Ubuntu without any change to your computer, and hit enter. Okay, so now um, now we're in business. We're booting up Ubuntu, um, and a loading screen will come up for about five or ten minutes. It depends how fast your CD drive is. Um, but after a little while, um, the screen will go away and your desktop will come up. And that's how to use Ubuntu CDs to boot. Um, you can't really, it, it uses your RAM as a temporary hard drive. As soon as you restart, all this stuff in your RAM gets lost, obviously. So, um, it won't save anything you do in Ubuntu, but you can mount your Macintosh HD from Ubuntu. Um, so that's pretty cool. So, um... I'm not really gonna. I don't have time in this video to show you Ubuntu. Um, I, I, if you, if you know what Ubuntu is, great. If not, you can just explore and just shut down when you're done. Um, and after you shut down, the CD will come out, and you can just 
take the CD all the way out, then hit enter to sh continue the shutdown, and then that will shut you down. So this, like I said, is going to take a very long time, and then you'll go to the desktop. Then you can do whatever through Ubuntu. You can shut down. You can just hold the power button. Um, but just remember when you're booting up with the CD and you have to hold the Alt or Option key in order to see that screen. Um, so um, I will also point out, um, yeah, that this is um, this will work on any Mac. But you might have to do something special on a PC, like go through the BIOS and configure it. I don't know exactly what you'd have to do. Uh, depending on the PC, but this is how it works on my Mac, and I think it works like this on most Macs out there. I don't think this works on OS 9, so I wouldn't try to try it on, on a very old OS 9 machine. Um, but it does work on on my my MacBook. Okay, so and actually, you're seeing the boot process right now. Here's the loading bar, then the desktop's going to come up, and I'm going to shut down. So this is all all you really need to see right now. Um, okay. So, um, thank you for watching Mac Heads in a One. Subscribe, and goodbye.